In Lenny McLean's book, he says he was due to fight Paul Sykes in Finsbury Park on the 29th of November 1979, but the fight was cancelled due to Paul getting in a ruck with four doormen. Well, that wasn't strictly true. The reason that bout never happened was because of an incident with a guy named Terry Mitchell from Leeds. Terry grew up in Gipton in Leeds, which isn't a million miles away from Wakefield. The year before his run-in with Sykesy he actually went to watch him at the theatre club in Wakefield when he beat the American Dave Wilson in 1978. That was the first time he had clapped eyes on Paul Sykes as he had always been in prison prior to that. Terry said. A year later I was in the market traders club and it all started because Paul had had too much to drink and was picking on his old man Walter. I knew his old man was an ex-screw but he was still an old man regardless. My friend tried to intervene and told Paul to leave his dad alone, but Paul took offense and started on my friend so I backed him up. I knew straight away that I was not going to trade punches with this fella, as he was a trained professional boxer, but he had on a really smart jacket so I grabbed the lapels, dragged him close to me and headbutted him a few times then swung him around the bar a bit for good measure. I stayed close to Paul and I never let him get the distance that I knew he needed to get a decent punch in like he had when he did so much damage to that poor American bloke the year before, when he hospitalized him for a month. There was a lot of grappling for what seemed like forever but the real damage was done when I kept butting him then spinning him around. I was 28 at the time so Paul would have been 33. We were both fit men at the time at the peaks of our lives so even though we'd both had a good drink we both fought hard. Paul gave up fighting me after a while and said we should both sit down and have a drink together. Afterwards I was covered in blood but I never had a mark on me. Paul was really busted up bleeding from the nose and a deep nasty cut above his eye he was cut all over. We both sat down drinking and I remember Paul being in such a state, he sent his friend Mick Sellers, who was a professional wrestler of some sort, back to Wakefield to get him a new shirt. I wasn't completely comfortable sitting drinking in Paul's company considering I'd just given him a good hiding. I remember a fella said to me after, watch out Terry he's gonna sly dig you, as I got up to go to the toilet to get some of the blood off me. Paul got up and followed me into the toilets so I was on red alert really ready to finish the job now but Paul came in and shook my hand and that was that. His friend came back and handed Paul a new shirt and off he went. I went over the road to continue my night in the market tavern known as the Mad House. Before Paul left he asked me, do you know how much you've cost me Terry?